Hello everyone! Today I'm here to do another tag that I've done before, but tis the season for it because today's tag is the Thanksgiving book tag. I did this a couple years ago and what do you know, Thanksgiving comes around every year and I really enjoy doing this tag the first time, so why not do it for the second time? I'm not really reaching for content at all right now. I totally am. It's tough. You guys, it's tough. But nevertheless, let's get into it. Question number one is bread. What, beer, what book is purely fluff and has no real plot line? I mean, you could argue that a lot of chiclet, like romance books do, they don't have a lot of plot to them. I can't say for sure of one off of the top of my head that I was like, doesn't have a plot line at all. I, ugh, that's a tough one. Um, but let's move on. <laughs> Question number two is, what book, Turkey, what book made you want to fall asleep? Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. In fact, I actually fell asleep reading this book a lot. And it's a weird book because I really enjoyed it when I was reading it. Like the writing was so beautiful and the story was interesting, but it was a slow book. Like, oh my gosh, it was slow. I DNF'd it. I still have not finished it. And I don't know if I ever will, honestly, because I just, I, I literally fell asleep a few times reading it because it just took forever. Like, and I noticed that that's kind of her writing style because I really had to push through A Deadly Education by her, but I really enjoyed that book. Maybe I will do the same with Spinning Silver, but I just like, gosh, it was slow, it meandered, and made me fall asleep. Question number three is gravy. What book makes the whole series worth reading? Oh, for this one, for sure. A Reaper at the Gates by Sabatier. This is the third book in her Ember in the Ashes series, and I like the first two books. And then when I read this book, I just fell in love. I loved it so much. And I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion because I think that there's a lot of people that don't like this third book, but I love it. And I for sure think it's worth reading the whole series. Like it's probably my favorite book in the whole series, if I'm honest with you. I just really enjoyed it. Question number four is stuffing. What book is so full stuffed of action scenes? So for this one, I'm going with a Mr. Thriller I've read recently because I haven't been reading a lot of fantasy and for that is going to be a book of cold cases by Simone St. James. This book doesn't come out till March next year. I totally forgot about that while reading it but it is what it is. It was very interesting. I just I finished it within two days because I was so invested in the storyline. I was like I need to figure out what happens, what's going on. Like I just I thought it was really full of action scenes when it comes to Mr. Thrillers. It just kept me guessing. So is that a cliche answer or is that even answer? I'll let you be the judge of that. Question number five is mashed potatoes. What book looked good and then wasn't? For this one, I'm going to have to go with Just Haven't Met You Yet by Sophie Cousins. This one, it looked good. I won't say like it looked like amazing or anything like that, but it looked good and I just kind of found myself feeling uh, about it. It's a woman's fiction book all about a woman that goes to like, just like, um, figure out her parents love story and she learns more about that it was very much more lied upon about it than it really was and it just was just it was okay it just wasn't a book I would really recommend it was just kind of meh for me so it looked good but it didn't live up to the you know expectation of it looking good at least for me that's just my opinion question number six is cranberries what book has the sweetest romance and for this one I'm gonna go with my most recent romance book I've read and that is window shopping by Tessa Bailey it's her upcoming or it's already out holiday romance book and I thought the romance was so sweet it is steamy for sure but it was also really sweet so I would recommend it. if you're looking for a quick fun holiday read that is equal parts steamy and adorable definitely check it out question number seven is corn what is the corniest book you've ever read and I'm gonna have to go with another recent read and that is Nick and Noel's Christmas playlist by Cody Hall you could also say this is another book that looked good but wasn't I gave it a two out of five it takes a lot for me to do that I just found the writing just to be honest really corny like I was just like Mm, I don't know. The romance was okay. I just felt like the dialogue was blah and everything was blah. It was just very, very corny. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one that feels that way, but that's just how I felt. I was like, goodness me, this is just corny on the top of corniness with a side of corniness. <laughs> Question number eight is green beans. What book is too long and needs to be shortened? Oh my gosh, I know for immediately this one. A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Maas. This is um, her... <sighs> I wouldn't say the fourth book. It's kind of like a spinoff of a court series, but how many pages is this freaking book? It's like almost 800 pages. It is nowhere near to be 800 pages. Honestly, it could have been 400 pages. It could have been half the length. It's a book all about Nesta, and I'm still not a Nesta fan. Sue me. But I just didn't think, like, it just... 
carried on so much and we had this big plot line this big evil and it got like finished within a matter of a few pages and i'm like why what like it what the heck it makes no sense at all we spend nearly 800 pages talking about this and then it gets resolved in a matter of two pages it's just it just it was way too long i definitely think it need to be shortened i will stand by that till forever question number nine is pumpkin pie my favorite dessert of all time as far as thanksgiving foods goes what book do you read to get out of a reading slump i'm i feel like i'm perpetually in a reading slump right now you guys know i have a newborn at home well she's pretty much almost not a newborn anymore she's like three months old but you know it's still tough to read so i feel like i'm constantly in a reading slump because i'm like Ugh, because there's a lot of physical books i want to read but i just can't manage holding her in a physical book so it has to be a kindle book i would say any romance books will do any like tessa bailey book any sophie kinsella book will definitely kind of help me pull me out of that slump because i know i can read them fairly fairly quickly and the last question is dog slash cat i'm much more of a dog person you probably just heard my dog barking so there you go um what is your favorite thanksgiving food that you would steal away from the table ah oh, gosh um there are like two things I make every Thanksgiving that people love and are obsessed with, including myself, and that is my mashed potatoes and my sweet potato casserole. They're not mine. They're Pioneer Roman recipes, and they are that good. I would say probably the sweet potato casserole. I usually do it like it has pecans on it as a topping, but I don't like pecans, so I do like half with pecans and half with just marshmallows. And if I could steal like that side away with marshmallows, I would eat the whole thing. Gosh, it's so good. It's so like, it's like not even like potatoes. It's kind of like a dessert, if you will. It's so good. Um, and the mashed potatoes, gosh, if you haven't made mashed potatoes from scratch, please make pioneer almond ones because they're the best mashed potatoes hands down. Like they are amazing. So highly recommend them. As far as dessert, I mean, I would take a whole pumpkin pie and a container of Cool Whip and call it a day. That'd be great for me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there you have the Thanksgiving book tag. That was a very quick, fast book tag that I felt like actually had the answers to a lot of the questions. So I feel like I should pat myself on the back here. But I would love to know what answers you would have for this tag. What book do you think is really long that needs to be shortened? What book um, put you to sleep? I would love to know the answers to those. If we have any similar ones or not, please leave them down in the comments. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a fabulous and amazing Thanksgiving. Bye.